today I'm going to be talking about joining English Heritage Trust and also what is in the starter pack. Um, I got this when I was at Audley End House and Gardens and I have a video to that, it's a mini tour of the house and garden so I couldn't film on the inside of the house so there's no footage on that but the outside of the house the grounds and the garden I have a video of Um, I'll also be writing a blog post on my website on it within the next two weeks and I'll also upload um, how to use my website once it's done at the moment I'm still constructing it and I'll also link it in my social media or in one of my videos in the future once the website is done. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about what you get once you join. You can also join online or you can join at one of their sites. Um, you can look on their website, English Heritage, um, and see the details as well and the places that are covered in the membership um, with the membership it'll give you access to different um, historical sites places castles palaces around the country it does give you discount or some perks from other places that are not owned by the english heritage trust but have partnership or any of them um, relationships so this is a welcome pack to the Audley End place which is what I'm talking about it is magnificent isn't it so do check out my video on that I do believe the antique rojo did take place here one year so this is some intro on the place so when you turn up to these places you have to show them your pass if you are a member um if not you'll pay for the ticket and then they'll give you some leaflets and information about the place so this is a map which i found really useful on the visit it was a massive place and this is a map of roughly where it is. It's very close to Cambridge as you can see here. It's a very good place. There is another place called West Park nearby. Um, here are some other ones like Framingham Castle, Orford Castle. So these are... It's just some of the places that they have. So this is a handbook that they give you as a member. So what's in the handbook is a full list of all the places that they have by region. So as you can see here, um, just find the page again. It sorts it out into different parts of the country so they have members events as well which you can check out on their websites or website of the places that the events that they have throughout the year or the part of the year that they're open london so these are the places in london um like elton palace and there is a few houses like Kenwood that belongs to famous people or aristocrats of the past. Um, there are some London statues as well. So then you have the South East and so it goes on. So it splits everything into um, regions and there's like West Midlands here. So this handbook is extremely useful. So you can check it out um, there are places all over the country so the membership applies nat nationally sorry. and uh, this is the 2018 to 19 one so you join or renew every single time they give you one um, 
you also get a magazine so this is a manga magazine and i remember reading you get four per year so i guess they do one every quarter or something like that and in the magazine you also get little leaflets of stuff that's going on magazine is relatively interesting so it talks just about some of the events happening at places some of the progress of work on the sites and history um yeah so there's just some of the things which this is an interesting part to it so when you join at the site they give you a temporary membership card and then they send you the stuff the sorry the proper card in the post um when you join online you have an email to confirm you're now a member which you can print off and access the site straight away if your card has not arrived and the um welcome pack that i'm showing and also the membership card will arrive in the post so these are member exclusive events so there's just different events going on all the time which i'll take a time to have a look and i'll post any interesting events onto my website when that's done in a couple of weeks um i think this will be an interesting guide for the summer uh you have a badge so i think this is for parking um i think this is to stick on your car i believe um this is a bookmark so that'd be helpful when i'm reading the guide and stuff i don't think i can get through that in one day and also in the pack i love this bag it's really nice i think we keep everything in the bag they gave me a because where i was um at ugly end it's sort of the east of the country so they gave me this pack so i imagine they'll give you one according to that place and they stapled the receipt of the ticket and guidebook of ugly end that i bought so when you take your pass there they still need to print you out tickets to gain entry into the place so um these are the prices of memberships so you can pay monthly or you can do a one-off payment and there's also a gift aid option to give aid to the english heritage trust and this is what a temporary membership card looks like it is just literally made from paper but i think when the real thing comes it will be a bit more like a credit card debit card type thing got a twig in there um yeah this book was 10 pounds it's not actually a book sorry it's a notebook i bought this in the gift shop at audley end this i thought was just lovely it has the tudor rose theme throughout it it just looks like the ancient leather bind books and this is really a notebook and if you open it it's lined it has a gold edge for the pages i just think it looks really neat this makes a great great gift as a diary as some for somebody who very creative likes to write poetry or stories or even for making very important and special notes so just thought i'll share that with you as well so yeah so stay tuned for the launch of my website i think the next video would be one on events um well dresses for events from different high street designers and this week i'm going to a taylor swift concert so i'll hopefully do 
some filming on that. Yeah, so let me know what you'd like me to film. I'm now trying to do a video on request. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.